Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home. All right, today, this is gonna be my monthly little series, the wigs I wore in August. Every month I show you some of the wigs that I've reviewed and I've worn in the previous month. So this is the one for August. Now, I'm wearing my Henry Margot Avery in 10 GR. And I wore this just to make a point. <laughs> Previously, you know, when I started my channel, I was just basically reviewing Pixies. If you followed along with me all these years, you'll know. I just was re reviewing really short wigs. Well, I've branched out, right? So now I review some longer wigs. I just want it to be my mission to show you as many styles and colors and lengths and shapes as I can. And please believe me, I know they don't all look good on me. I never have claimed that, but I do claim that I don't care if it looks good on me or not. This is not about me. This is about you. This is all about you and what you might like and what you want to see and what you think might look good on you. So I've been trying all kinds of different wigs and I never liked a center part. Now, guess what? I like a center part. <laughs> and I'm telling you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm telling you this to tell you, step outside of your box. Give yourself a little grace. You know, just say, uh, maybe, maybe I'll try that. You never know. You might try something and think, wow, why haven't I been wearing this all along? So I wore this one today just to show you that all of a sudden now, I'm kind of liking a center part. So I'm gonna show you 10 wigs today. Like I said, now this is not a wig review. I've already already done that on all of these wigs. If you wanna see the full, review, the full reviews, check um, my channel, they're all there listed, and all you'll have to do is go over there, and there will be all kinds of information in those reviews. Outdoor lighting, cap construction, styling, everything is in my full review. This is just a quick, fun overlook at a few styles that I wore in the previous month. So let's just get started with this one. Like I said, this is Avery, 10, 16, 10, 613 GR. I like this color. I like the rooting on this wig. I like that it is just straight and sleek, easy to wear. You can, it's so sleek, you can put this behind your ears so easily if you like to wear your hair that way, I do. And this is just a really nice style. Okay guys, this is a new release from Ellen Villa that just came out, I reviewed it. This is Leah. And the Leah, I have it in Sahara Beige Rooted. All right, again, sleek style, mono part. This has that mini lace front. Again, you can see my full review to see all that. Uh, another just out of the box, easy to wear, fun style. I like the choppiness of these layers, these textured layers on the end, really choppy. Why not? Okay, this one just went live, I think on my channel today. This is brand new Raquel Welch Candid Capture, short, spiky, out of the box. I do wanna tell you this was very, very large on me. I have pulled in the adjusters that much, just to let you know, and I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. This is out of the box, spiky fun hair. Now, you know, I love some spiky fun hair. And you can just, Spray it with some water, because that's how I do. And you can sleek it down a little, let it spike up a little, just whatever you wanna do. This one has a little longer nape, which I appreciate in some of these wigs. If you have hair that grows down a little on your neck, this provides good coverage. Still lots of summertime left, and this one's perfect. Now this wig, you have seen me talk about, if you're watching me on Instagram, I have talked about this wig so many times already because I am constantly reaching for it. This is new Ellen Villa Alon in that beautiful new color, metallic, metallic blonde rooted. It has gray and platinum and pearl blonde and white. I think this color is gorgeous. I have, like I said, I cannot get enough of this wig. It's super short. Now you can see, I don't, I'm taking this out of the box 
and I'm putting it on my head. And you can see you are seriously out the door in seconds here. You know, I always keep a wig just by the door, everywhere, <laughs> it seems like in my house. But this is one I've just kept at, so I can just grab it. If I need to run out for a minute, I grab this and throw it on because I know it's gonna look great. Okay, now of all the new releases I've been showing lately. Okay, this is, this is in the top two. This is portrait mode. Raquel Welch, I have a full review on it. SS Ice Latte Macchiato, I love this color. And I love this style. This is very, very similar to Upstage and Untold Story. And as you know, I love both of those wigs. This is the same style as those. Oh, I love it, I just, love everything about this wig. I really do. This color is just, it's just wearable. You know, it's one of those colors that I feel like so many skin tones can wear this color. The shape is nice. I wore it to a wedding yesterday. I enjoyed it very much. And I just don't think you can go wrong with this one. Okay, this is Beltress Amaretto in this color, Tres Leches Blonde. Look at this color. Everyone's been talking about this color. This is such a lightweight style. Of course, it's the beachy waves. That's what it's been all year, especially this summer. And I have definitely jumped on the bandwagon of the beachy waves. Easy to wear. I mean, it really doesn't get much easier, right? You just... I like to separate mine just a little. It's a great way to tame some flyaways as well. This is such a gorgeous color, Tres Leches Blonde. And of course, a super popular style. Okay, another very, very popular, fairly new release, Raquel Welch Wavy Day. I have mine in SS Cappuccino. Another beautiful color, popular color. This one again runs pretty large on me. Wavy Day, now this has been such a hit. So many people love this style. Long, wavy, <sighs> yeah. Like I said, step out of your box. Try something different. You just never know what you might like. And you know, this one has enough length that you can put this back into a ponytail easily. I think this would be beautiful during the holiday season to wear it up, put a clip in it. It's just a lot you can do with styles that have this length. Okay, here is Beltress T Rose in Butterbeer Blonde. One of the most popular styles, I believe, for uh, Beltress. This one has a bang. And I think that's why this style has become so popular is everybody's, you know, wanting uh, wigs with bangs and there aren't that many out there, right? So I think that's one reason this one has become so popular. It has this sweeping bang. You can wear it off to the side. You could trim it if you wanted it to be uh, shorter. I have not done any adjustment to mine, of course. But um, again, long wavy, throw on and go. Again, another one that will work good in a ponytail, in a side ponytail. If you're just not comfortable with a lot of hair yet, or you're not sure if you want to wear a lot of hair, this one gives you, again, those options of wearing it back. Such a pretty style. Okay, another style with bangs. This is Ellen Villa. It's from the Modix collection. It is Perla Beige Pastel Shaded. I love this color. Beige Pastel Shaded. Look how pretty this is. And like I said, in my full review, I show it to you outside, give you um, a look at the inside of the cap. 
But again, this one has bangs. Now, I think, for me, these need trimming. These are too long for me. That would kind of not be something I would enjoy. I don't wanna always be trying to get my hair out of my face. That's just not something <laughs> that I'm good at. I want it to be out of my face. So I think these bangs need trimming, but certainly don't have to. But again, a nice style has bangs if that's what you're looking for. So check out Perla. Okay, wow, Caliente hand tied. So pretty, root beer float blonde. I love butter beer blonde. I love root beer float blonde. I love Tres Leches blonde. <laughs> Beltres really knows how to make their blondes. And Caliente, I have it in the non-hand tied. This is the hand tied. They're both gorgeous, just whatever you prefer. But you know, how can you go wrong with Caliente? It's a, it's a favorite for a reason. It just, it just works. I think it's so pretty the way this comes up and off the face. I'll give you a look here at how gorgeous this color is around the face. It's not overdone at all. If you haven't tried Caliente, I would encourage you to do so. Okay, that was a quick look at the wigs I wore in August. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you're not already, join me over on Instagram. I have completely different wig content over there. Have a great day and I will see you next time.